Welcome back to the build channel. Uh, today was going to be part two of the building of the estate gates. Uh, we're going to have to sidebar it. Remember uh, how I showed you that bent material that uh, I thought we'd be able to kind of work around it? Nope. Um, today, we're going to actually have to work on a new process, which I haven't done yet, called heat straightening. Should be fun. Stick around. So this run here is the eight foot section uh, of the center of the gate. And there's probably close to a 16th gap there. And it's the same from end to end here. Uh, this one, the bottom piece, is actually bent the other way. I guess I could flip it over and it would match, but it doesn't really matter because it's wrong. So to make the far end of the level touch, yeah, that's like probably an eighth. So get the torch out and we're going to try to get these straightened up. As a fabricator, you know, we're all the time fighting our welds. Our welds are all the time trying to move our material for us. And that's because of the heating and contraction of the steel. So the idea of heat straightening is using that process in our advantage this time. So what we'll do is we'll heat up a small section, maybe a quarter or a half dollar size on the long end of the tubing that's bent or the long side of the arch. And uh, yeah, as that heats and as it contracts, it should draw this back straight, according to the other internet people. So let's uh, get the torch out and uh, give it a shot. Exact. We just, I just want to be close to the halfway point. So it's 141. So half of 141 is, uh, call it 70 something. It'll be close enough. my marks on the long side, what I know to be the long side of the arch. Because that's the side that we're going to be heating. a string end to end and clamp it with some vice grips so we can get a real good idea of exactly how far this thing's bowed. So we've got the string pulled on the short side of the arch, arc, arch, whatever you want to call it. That's a quarter inch, man. That's a quarter inch across 11 and a half feet. So let's see if we can get it straightened out. The internet people, they said to uh, make sure I use a cutting nozzle instead of a rosebud. I don't know why. I guess to keep the heat localized better. I guess that would make sense. Um, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna start with one 
spot first. It's pretty cool today, so it should cool off pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna heat this spot just right here in the middle, and I'm gonna let it cool, and then I'm gonna re-pull the measurement on the back side and see if it changed. Maybe one will be enough, maybe it won't, I don't know. I haven't done this before. So we've got our one spot that we've heated up. I can already hear the metal pinging. So give this a few minutes to cool off and see what changes. At first, I thought I had really messed up because this opened up a lot while, uh, while that was still hot. But it's not all the way cooled back off yet. And it's already closed up an eighth. They say that you have to let this get cool enough to, to touch it before it fully contracts as much as it's going to. This is going to work. I'm just going to have to be really delicate with it from, from here on out to make sure that I don't overcorrect it. Took a little coffee break. Let that material cool all the way off. Let's get the tape out and see how it did. There's our spot where we heated. Come right back over here. Oh, we are good. Getting better. So that took an eighth out. So I think what I'm going to do is do a small spot here and another small spot here and then let that cool and see what happens. It doesn't need much, and we're doing two spots, so we're going to do a little bit smaller of an area this time. Not quite as much heat either. I'm not going to get it so hot that the mill scale starts burning on. Just a good little glowing spot. Or I could probably start piercing it if I wanted to, but. Okay, so let's go around to the other side quick. Yeah, so this is what it did last time. Let me pop this out of there. So this last time on the on the first on the first go around, I thought I messed up. See, it's opened back up to a quarter. So it'll do that while it's cooling or while it's hot. So once it cools off come back out here in a few minutes and give it a check okay everything's cooled off i ended up doing two more small spots down closer to the ends because it had just a little bit of a belly here in the string this string is super tight all the way up and down the tube um 
So it's either dead on or I went too far. I'm gonna flip the string to the other side just to check and uh, we'll see. Uh, if, it's, if it's not right on the money, it's close. All right, so flip the string over to this side. It's not as tight up against this side as it was the other, but that is, that's really close. And considering that, you know, this doesn't, this, for this project, this doesn't have to be a hundred percent perfect. Like this isn't some sort of aerospace application that requires ultimate flatness. I just wanted the tube not to have a visible arch to it uh, because that'll affect the, the look of the entire gate. So this one's straight, that's good. Now I've got to straighten this one and this one for sure, look at that thing. Eek. That thing looks like it's been through the twisties up in the Ozarks or something. Okay, so this works. Uh, let's keep uh, keep hammering on the other ones, I guess. So the heat straightening worked, uh, worked quite well. Uh, I'm happy with that. I've got five more pieces to do, so I will spare you the boredom of watching me repeat this process five more times. Um, anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. I certainly did. Uh, I learned something new today. I hope, uh, I hope that you were able to use this on some of your projects, get yourself out of a bind. Um, we got part two of the gate build coming up within the next couple days. So, uh, the next one will be on fitting all the material together, building perfect to right angles and keeping things coplanar and flat without a giant expensive 13 foot fixture table. So stick around. See ya. <laughs>